What's cracking YouTube? It's your boy Jason Yamamoto and today I want to cover part 3 of lose weight and reduce fat. And today's topic is going to be about cardio. Yes, the notorious cardio. Unfortunately, you have to perform cardio in order to lose weight and reduce fat. Exactly. But now, I'm not just going to throw you immediately to running. There's different kind of forms of cardio that you must perform and build yourself up before you get into running. Now, running is only a phase three. There is an actual phase four, okay? What I like to call short intervals, high intensity. Now, that's a very advanced style of cardio and it's been proven to show dramatic changes in the body and also dramatic changes in weight and body fat. But, just like anybody else who I bring under under me for training, I start you off in the crawl and walk phase first. Alright, so you're asking, what kind of cardio, how many times per week, how long you should do it? Okay, so what I like to do first is to start everybody off with the walk phase. Okay, even though I said the crawl and walk and run, okay, I understand the crawl phase is literally walking. Okay, what I want you to do is you walk for 30 minutes at your pace for 30 minutes, but you can't stop. Okay, you can't stop and break. You got to walk for 30 minutes. So if you start to lose breath, okay, you start to feel de-energized. I just want you to slow down, but I don't want you to stop. All right. Now, if you have a heart condition, please consult your doctor first. But if you're okay to train, I would highly recommend you to start walking for 30 minutes at your pace okay now with that being said how many times you do it per week you do it three times per week yes I said three times per week here's the main reason why because your bone is a living tissue you have to straighten up your bones first right this is the main problem with a lot of people is that they become too complacent and too lazy and their bones start to weaken you have to straighten up your bones and the best way to do it is walking Okay, so get a very comfortable shoes. Don't use up used shoes. Get some brand new shoes if you can and start walking, okay? 30 minutes, three times a week. And how long should your rest day should be? Should be a rest day in every day that you do. So if you start on Monday, you break on Tuesday, start again on Wednesday, break on Thursday, start again on Friday. See how simple that is? Now, I would recommend you guys just not to train on the weekends. Let your body recover. I know it's going to be very hard because the better you get, you're going to become stronger. Because you got to remember, the muscle is also a, the heart. The heart. I'm sorry. The heart is also a muscle. Okay, so the stronger your muscle gets, the more you can perform. That's why when you start to actually walk, right without losing breath then that's when you can start jogging this is the actual phase two okay this is although phase two is the walk phase phase two is the jogging phase okay so that's where you're gonna learn how to start to jog okay and then of course when you start losing that breath you scale back to your walking pace and then you keep doing it until you're able to what run again right when you run that's phase three and then when we can get you to phase three and move you up to phase four now, you're going to be doing phase one for three months. Yeah, and you're asking, man, three months, it's not a lot. You think about it, okay? For overweight people, three months is very short. Because here's the thing, when you start picking up on the jogging phase, it's a month and a half until you get to phase three. Because once you start jogging, trust me, it's going to be a lot easier. Okay, when you start running now, then you can start moving ahead towards the phase four. But I want, you, I want you guys to start off slow, all right? 30 minutes a day, three times a week, for three months. Can you guys handle that? Also, make sure you check your carbohydrates and proteins. And make sure you list all your foods, okay? Now, I have part four as well. So, make sure you stay in tune for that one. And this is your boy, Jason Yamamoto. And I'll talk to you guys later. Nice. Breathe.